you will need an impact driver, measuring tape, string line, marker, a half inch socket for X clamps and couplings, and for this R panel installation, we'll use a 5 16 driver. For standing seam, you'll use a 3 16 Allen bit instead of the 5 16 hex. Measure and mark the bottom row corner attachments, leaving at least 12 inches of working clearance to the edge of the roof whenever possible. And keep in mind, this mark will locate the downhill edge of the roof attachment, and the downhill edge of the array will be about one inch up from that mark. Place the attachment on its mark, slide the wings in so that they are flush and flat to the rib, and use the four self-tapping screws to attach the power mount adjust to the roof. For the second row of attachments, measure the module dimension plus three quarters of an inch uphill from the first attachment. Install the side edge attachments for the second row. Run a string line for the first two rows of attachments. Use a permanent marker to mark the roof where those attachments will be placed. This is an important step to help you select the right rib or seam to not exceed the allowable span for your project and will also avoid misplaced attachments caused by something moving the string like wind or another installer. Now that the first two rows of attachments are installed, you're ready for modules. To install the bottom row of modules, Use two installers, one above the row and one below the row. Starting from one end, add the modules, tightening X clamps and couplings to the modules as you go. Once you drop the module down, use the slot on the roof attachment to slide the clamp down to the top of the frame and install couplings also as you work across the row. Pressing it to the two module frames and tightening the two bolts to 14 foot-pounds. Connect modules together across the top edge of the row using the standard coupling when an additional row of modules will be installed. Sometimes an attachment location will land right where two modules meet and a coupling should go. When this happens, simply use the hardware from the X clamp and slide it through the hole in the center of the coupling. This works for the end coupling as well as the standard coupling. When tightening the three bolts for a coupling that is connected to a roof attachment, tighten the bolt connecting to the roof attachment last to make sure that everything is secure. To route home runs across the roof, simply use standard wire clips on the uphill flange of the coupling as well as on the module frame. Alternating between the two will give you a nice zigzag pattern as you see here. For each additional row of attachments, Measure the module dimension plus three quarters of an inch uphill. Install the side edge attachments and run a string line and mark your locations across the row. It's important to install the attachment rows as you move up the roof installing modules. This will prevent any errors in measurement that could cause an attachment to be slightly out of place. For more Unirac installation tips, visit our video library at unirac.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.